was literally broken open, and so we, yeah, you could see the sky. The hole in the roof was bad, but the damage caused by a massive storm on June 29th was worse. I came in the store to open up in the morning at 10 o'clock and saw a huge hole in my roof and thinking it was from the storm the night before. Um, and there was racks everywhere. Things were all over the place. There was water everywhere. Barbara Day owns Body Med Boutique in Burlington and sells compression garments to breast cancer patients. She called her landlord and the insurance company. A roofer that came by quickly determined that the damage to the roof wasn't from the storm. And when they sent the roofer over, um, they discovered that it, they think it was an attempted break-in because it wasn't the weather, it was a big hole that was cut in my roof. Barbara Day says police believe the vandals got onto the roof from the back of the building and were actually trying to get into a different business in the plaza. If they were trying to get in here, maybe they... Maybe they thought they were coming into a different store because we have a bank in the plaza, we have a pharmacy, we have a smoke shop, we have a laundromat, like I don't know. Day says the rain pouring in from the open roof wiped out half her stock, which is valued at more than $40,000. My concern mostly is my clients because they're waiting for breast cancer surgeries or other uh, surgeries that they need to be fitted for. Um, you know, someone who newly diagnosed coming in, needing a, one of the free packages that we give out. Day started the boutique 10 years ago after her mother went through breast cancer and her best friend died from it. She gives away care packages to women starting their battle with the disease. We actually call it the Because We Care package uh, because we do care and we want people to feel a little more comfortable going into surgery and not have to pay for it. The tra travel agent next door is allowing days to work out of one of their offices until her store is open again, which will likely be in September.